video is going to show you how to solve a single stoichiometry problem. Um, we're going to go ahead and solve this section of problems using this equation. The first step that you have to do is make sure that your equation is balanced. So I've got 1NB, 1NB, 3 plus 2i's, that's 5i's, 5i's. So this equation is already balanced. The coefficients would be 1, 1, and 1. The next thing is to set up your stoichiometry problem. The pro stoichiometry problem <clears throat> looks like this. It's the number that you've been given, um, and in this first problem, uh, that would be two point, I mean, 24.3 grams. The number that you've been given, the over, the number from the box for the given units, remember the box is for moles, it's 1, for liters, 22.4, for pieces, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and for mass, it's calculating the molar mass. Um, in the center of the problem, I've got the coefficient of what I'm trying to find over the coefficient of what I was given, and I also multiply that by the number from the box for the units that I'm trying to find. Once again, that's the box. So every single stoichiometry problem it starts out with the template that looks like that. So once again, if you go back to that page um, that is telling you what goes on the belly of your mole, it starts out with 24.3 grams. That's the number that they've given me in the problem. And that's grams of NBI3. If I look at the box, the box tells me that if I've been given grams, I have to calculate the molar mass. So I look up on the periodic table the molar mass <clears throat> of NB is 93, and the molar mass of each one of the I's is 127, and there are three of them. So this NBI3 totals up to 474 grams. The next two spots are for coefficients from your balanced equation. This is the coefficient of what I am trying to find. I'm trying to find moles of NBI5. The coefficient on that is a 1. Over the coefficient of the what I was given, the MBI3, the coefficient on that problem is also 1. This gets timed times by the number that I am trying to solve for out of the box. So I'm trying to solve for moles. That number out of the box is 1. And in the template, this problem, it is always 1 in that spot. Then I put this into my calculator. I put 24, and I wouldn't times it by, but I, if these were numbers, it would be 24 times 1 times 1, which of course is 24.3, divided by uh, 474 times 1 times 1, which is of course 474. When I take 24.3 and divide it by the 474 grams, I get 0 0.05, and we solved for moles. So the first problem on this page, the answer is 0 0.05 moles of NBI5 can be produced.